Now, it's been a bumpy ride to get there, but it's almost time for the final of Dancing on Ice. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chang to the finalists in just a moment, but first, let's take a look at what it takes to get it to the end of the toughest show on TV. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous! I definitely won't be able to skate for the first 15. It's pain like I've never felt before. You to me are the epitome of the show must go. Yeah. Last night was my last dance in a nice skate. Hamish has done a brilliant job with Faye. My job now is just to continue that work. Our four remaining celebrities slug it out for a place in next week's grand final. Through to the final, Faye and Matt! Jay and Angela. <laughs> you made it so hard tonight. I'm, I'm saving Colleen and Clavera. Comedy will lift the dancing and ice trophy. You won't want to miss it. Ah. Oh. Love that weekend tune as well. We are joined by the finalists and their partners now, Faye Brooks and Matt Evers, uh, Colin Jackson and Clabira Kamini, and Sunny J and Angela Egan. Hey guys, congratulations! You did it! Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right, doesn't matter what happens now. We're there, we did it. Oh, we're so happy for you, honestly. <laughs> we're gonna start true. off with you, Faye. How are you feeling? Um, you know, you've got... How many routines have you got to do for this now? You've got to do three routines you've got to get through. How, how are you doing? Yeah, it is gone up a notch, hasn't it? The training has just gone to a whole other level. But we're just trying to enjoy the very last few days of the whole series and try yeah. and have as much fun as we possibly can, because it is bittersweet. You don't want it to end, but we are tired. <laughs> I bet you are. That's the thing, looking at our briefing notes, everyone says, what are you going to do afterwards? Everyone just says, sleep, we're just going to sleep. We're just sleeping. Chill. Um, so <laughs> the biggest, obviously, you had to repartner with Matt, and well done to both of you. So that must have been yes. the biggest challenge you've had so far. Yeah, definitely. Um, but what I loved is that, you know, Matt's just an absolute pro. He's been here since day one with the series. He knows how the show works. And, yeah, we've just been enjoying every single second together. I mean, it's been hard. It's not been easy to swap partners halfway through the series, but she took it like a champion. And, I mean, she's literally sailed through all the hurdles that she's had to come across. So I'm... She's made me a better pro, I will say that. Oh, oh what a oh, great thing to say. That's so nice. And obviously you had Hamish before, <laughs> now you've got the lovely Matt. What has been your proudest moment so far? Oh, I definitely have to say the semi-finals last week was my favourite episode. I can't speak for anybody else, but just to get to skate the personal skate for me was, um, it was honestly like, my heart was on the ice and I think it showed and I, it was the top marks that I'd, I'd got um, for the whole series. Mm -hmm. And it was a real magical moment for Matt and I. So that to me will be the most unforgettable night. Matt, would you say that this has been the most unforgettable series so far? Outside of Gemma Collins, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, and hats, hats off to all of our producers and the network for putting the show on in the middle of a pandemic. And, you know, it, it, it was a hard task even before we got here. But mm -hmm. now that we are here and we've gotten to the final, I just, I cannot thank ITV enough for allowing us all to sort of fulfill our passions. Well, good luck for the final, guys. Yeah, All good right, luck, let's speak bye. to Sunny J Thank next. You. Thank you. And Angela, Sunny, what's been the congratulations, firstly, mate? What's been what's been the special highlight for you? Thank you. Uh, the special highlight it was going to be the personal skate. I'm not going to lie, from last week. But then I realised that I'm actually in the final. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how we got here, <laughs> but we're here. Um, and just being able to say that, I'm going to put it in my Instagram bio now. So thank you very much. <laughs> well, the reason why you're there is because you're so good, babes. You are doing really, really well. And how has it been being taught the bolero by the the, the legends Torval and Dean? Alison, I'm not going to lie, um, I love a Solero. <laughs> oh, you said Bolero. Um, yeah, no, the Bolero's great. It's all right. No, it is, it is so... It's an honour. I genuinely had dry teeth for two hours because I, I had the surreal moment of knowing that I'm potentially going to do the Bolero on Sunday night. We're actually just watching Torval and Dean do their, do their stuff right now. Do they actually show you the dance first or do they just show you what they want you to do? Well, Angela and I were lucky enough, uh, same with everyone else, uh, we, got, we got to watch the bolero on the big screen here, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We had a moment, didn't we? Angela, how tough a dance is that? Build. How tough a routine is that? 
it's it's tough. It's a lot of pressure because it's so iconic and we have to recreate something of our own, but obviously do them proud and, you know, show that we love it. So, yeah. And can I ask, Angela, you know when you go on the floor on your knees, does it really hurt with the cold ice? <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good question. <laughs> yes. really interested. It does. Because if it you pan so the gross. camera, everyone's wearing knee pads here, so yes. Oh. <laughs> that must be awful, because, like, the ladies literally just have the tiniest bit of oh, yeah. tights. Unbelievable. But, listen, good luck, Sonny J and Angela. We're excited for you. Let's move on to Colin Thank Jackson. You so much. Colleen Jackson, can I just say, Colleen, all <laughs> we hear from you on the ice, I mean, they did a clip on the Dancing on Ice uh, Twitter page, and it was just you laughing the whole time. <laughs> Have you just spent <laughs> your whole experience <laughs> laughing through this? I literally am. I mean, the guys are around here laughing with me as well, because I do. I spend so much time laughing and thoroughly enjoying it. I think what Matt said really summarised it beautifully well is that we all feel very blessed that we're doing this show live for everybody on a Sunday night during a pandemic through the toughest times that we've ever been through in the nation. So for me, it's, uh, I've got to laugh. I've got to try and put a smile on people's face and realise that hopefully it can be a little bit infectious. Smiling for everybody will kind of just cheer us up a little bit. So if I could do it for that magical moment, uh, yeah, but I tend to do it all day, don't I? Sorry. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Clabera, <laughs> what's this guy been like to, to teach and train and skate with? Because obviously you've got someone there who's a professional I'm athlete off. and they know the discipline <laughs> it takes. To and yet he's so ill-disciplined at the same time. So what's it been like for you? Yeah. <laughs> Get in there. Honestly, I, I say it all the time. I think, you know, I, everybody's great. Everyone is amazing. But I think the fact that I got Colin as my partner. We we just click <laughs> on so many different levels. So our like he's genuinely my best friend here. Like Aww. it has been the best time and I wouldn't have wanted to share it with anybody else. So we laugh all the time, we get serious, <laughs> but like he's genuinely turned into a friend for life. Oh, that's so and lovely that's to actually get that yeah. out of this experience, to actually get a friend yeah. out of this, it's unbelievable. And everyone asks it, and it really actually saddens me when people say, oh no, I don't skate anymore. Do you think you will keep it up, Colleen? Yeah, I generally do. I, mean, I said to, to Cabrera already, I think as soon as the rinks are open, I'm going to try and definitely do at least one hour a week, minimum. Because, you know, she returns back next season, I want to show what I can do. <laughs> and without her teaching me, you know, I, you know I, I've got to definitely keep that going. 100% to keep that going. And also, can I say, I've got to buy these two a red velvet cake each as well. Oh. You see the responses when I said that? <laughs> red velvet cake, they smile. So I've got to get that in for them as well. So, oh, so guys, I'll skate, much... then I'll red velvet. <laughs> Colin, how much more training do you all have to do now? Like, how much, how, how much more rehearsal or more prep are you allowed? Um, well, we all got time to skate again. We all got ice time for the rest of the day, but we still got rehearsals. So you can imagine we're still practicing the skate ons. We're still trying to refine all elements of our dances, whether it's the showcase, whether it's the bolero, whether it's our individual chosen dance, you know, the dance that we want to do from the series. So there's still a lot of work to do between now and Sunday, even though in Clabera's mind, we're already in June. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, good luck to all of you. Good luck. Series finale this Sunday, <laughs> 6 o'clock on ITV. We can't Best wait. Thanks, everyone. See you, bye. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, amazing. I cannot wait for that.